Welcome back. There's a dark secret kept by the Nano Every community. You probably already got suspicious after watching my second video about the basics of differential signaling with RS422, where I told you that the hardware serials at their core are really USARTs, universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitters. Card here, link in the description. And so you asked your serial and serial one, are you really my hardware serials? And their answers were probably quite evasive. Your serial might have said, honey, where's that coming from? And your serial one something along the lines of, go to your Arduino IDE and program something. But you kept digging, asking around in the Nano Every community. And you were probably told, there are only two hardware serials. So who do you think your serial and serial one are? However, I think you deserve the truth, even if it hurts. And the truth is, there are four USARTs living all together at base address 0800. So nobody really knows who your hardware serials are. To learn that, you will have to find serial two and three. Okay, credit where credit is due. I didn't came up with the code for making two additional hardware serials available for the Nano Every within the Arduino IDE. That honor belongs to somebody named Kevin and I put a link to his blog in the description of the video. I already revealed the big secret that the processor of the Nano Every, the AT Mega 4809, actually contains four USARTs, of which only two are used. USART 3 is used by Serial, that is the USB port, and USART 1 is used by Serial 1 and available on the TX and RX pin. The RX and TX pins of the unused USART 0 can be mapped here to digital 7 for RX and digital 2 for TX. RX and TX of the unused user 2 can be mapped here to digital 3 for RX and digital 6 for TX. That's all a little bit overcrossed, but well, it is what it is. Anyways, we will make USART 0 available as a Serial 2 object and USART 2 as the Serial 3 object. To do that, you have first to locate the pins underscore Arduino dot H file for the Arduino Nano Every. On my machine, Windows 10, it's located under C users Robert App Data Local Arduino 15. So that might vary with the version of your Arduino IDE, packages, Arduino, hardware, Mega AVR 1.8.7, that version number might also vary in the future, variants, Nona 4809, so the number of our AT Mega processor. Of course, on other operating systems, that may be a totally different path. Anyway, the first thing I would do is <laughs> save the original file here. So just copy and paste and I call that .h.original just in case so you have a backup copy if anything should not work out as expected. Now we can edit the .h file and I'm just using here the editor. Now this file obviously defines the pin definition functions for the Arduino and we're searching for two lines within that file. And here they are. Uh, define hardware 2 serial mux and define hardware 3 serial mux, which are currently both set to non, uh, specifically port max user 0 non and port max user 2 non. We replace these two lines with some new code. And again, that's not my code, that's the code Kevin came up with. Okay. 
Uh, the main changes here is that a hardware serial 2 max is now port max user 0 default and hardware serial 3 max is now port max user 2 alt 1. Meaning we are now mapping out these two users to physical pins. There are other <laughs> mappings available to other pins, but these two mappings actually work with the pin out of the Nano Avery. Another important change here is that we now define Hardware Serial 2 as being the user 0 and the Hardware Serial 3 as being the user 2. And then we have here some more definitions for interrupt vectors, I guess. Uh, again, Kevin did the heavy lifting. Uh, but anyway, if you look at one of these blocks here, they are quite identical or very similar to, for example, the blocks here for Hardware Serial 0 and Hardware Serial 1. Uh, by the way, the last two definitions in each block really just are definitions uh, which pin is which. To test the whole shebang, I've wired up my Arduino Nano Every as follows. So from the Serial 1 TX pin, I have a wire going to the RX pin of the Serial 2. And then from the TX pin of the Serial 2, I have a wire going to the RX pin of the Serial 3. And finally, I have from the TX pin of the Serial 3, a wire going back here to the RX pin of Serial 1. And here's a sketch to test everything. So in the setup, I initialize my serial for the USB connection with yeah, one megabyte and eight data bits, no parity. Then I wait until my USB connection is there and then I initialize serial one to serial three with exactly the same parameters. In the loop. As long as I have data available on serial, so on the USB port, I write a single byte of that data to the serial 1 port. Remember we have a connection from the serial 1 transmit to the serial 2 receive. And then while I have data available on the serial 2, I write a byte each time of the serial 2 incoming data out to serial 2 again. And then we have that connection from serial 2 transmit to serial 3 receive. And yeah, while I have data on serial 3 available, I read one byte from serial 3 and write it out again on serial 3. And then comes our loop back from serial 3 transmit to serial 1 receive. And as long as I have data available on serial 1, I read a byte of that data and I write it back to serial, that is to USB. And you already saw that technique for shuffling bytes through the serial port in part one about the basics of differential signaling with RS422 card here, link in the description. Now let's have a look at the serial monitor. And as you can see, it works beautifully. One word of advice, if you update the Arduino IDE or just the module for the 80 mega boards, these changes probably will get overwritten and are gone. So you have to redo them. Also, I don't see how these changes could affect any other standard Arduino Nano Every functionality. But you never know. So if something stops working after these changes, just undo them. 
That's it for today. To be honest, I'm quite curious why Arduino doesn't implement that Serial 2 and Serial 3 for the Nano Every out of the box. If you have any idea, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, anyway, until next time, bye.